Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Oakland Today. I'm Frank Miramati along with Nancy Holthus. Nancy, it's the weekend where we feature the Arkansas Breads. That's right. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The feature is based on Arkansas Breads, so come on out and see some Arky Breads in action. And tomorrow morning, you'll see a cow bread in action with an Arky Bread as we will be together <laughs> at dawn at Oakland. Cow bread right here. I like that. The program does start at 730. Frank will be on the mic at 830, so if you haven't seen what he can do, off the roof, coming out and joining some fun. We're going to enjoy it tomorrow morning. It's brought to you by West Rock Coffee. And don't forget tomorrow as well, it's the boat and truck giveaway. Steve Landers, Bradford Marine with some beautiful items atop the tote board. Someone's going to get out of here real lucky tomorrow. Right now, let's take a look at the Friday conditions. One year I'd like to have today's weather for the entire meet. First race, six furlongs, four-year-olds and up on a fast track, claiming price $20,000. And they're off. It was a clean beginning. Mr. Fuzzy Bottom, Shere Khan showing much more speed today. Radiant Day is now moving into contention with Wild Target in the orange colors for it. Plenty elusive is next. Brown Eyed Bachelor in the clear, about six lengths off the lead. And the early trailer is Hunterwood. They're heading to the half mile pole, and Radiant Day has a narrow lead, pressured by Shere Khan up alongside. And Mr. Fuzzy Bottom is tugging very nicely in third. He's followed by Wild Target in fourth, about four lengths off the lead. Brown-Eyed Bachelor outside, plenty elusive. And then it's a gap back to Hunterwood, who trails. Three-eighths of a mile to go. Radiant Day still narrowly in front. Shere Khan up alongside in second. Mr. Fuzzy Bottom is now moving up in between horses. Brown-Eyed Bachelor is launching a five-wide bid. And Wild Target in the orange colors. It's a wild scramble at the top of the stretch. Mr. Fuzzy Bottom, the gray, pokes his head in front. Wild Target is trying to keep pace with him. Brown-Eyed Bachelor in the center of the track. Radiant Day has given way. Shere Khan battles willingly. It is Mr. Fuzzy Bottom and Wild Target to the wire. Mr. Fuzzy Bottom or Wild Target. Wild Target, Mr. Fuzzy Bottom, neither giving an inch. Here's the line. Wild Target prevails in a long drive over Mr. Fuzzy Bottom. Plenty elusive was third. Fourth between Shere Khan and Brown-Eyed Bachelor. Wild Target claimed out of a dull performance last time out by Ingrid Mason gets right to the winner's circle for Joe Ragsdale, Little Bear Racing Stables, and Ingrid Mason. We had some claims out of the opener. Plenty Elusive by Chris Richard. Brown-Eyed Bachelor was claimed by Brett Calhoun. Mr. Fuzzy Bottom by Kelly Von Hemel. And Shere Khan by Tammy Dominoski. On to the second race, start of the early pick four. And they're off. Nita Alibi blasts out on top. There goes Birthday Cash, though, who's a bit quicker and up to take the lead. Our Doc Tanner, Elmo's journey along the inside, now moves up inside Birthday Cash to take the lead. Indomitable Storm, fifth through the opening furlong, followed by the Chakota Kid. Two more to Tipsy Suspect, racing outside of route. Copperhead Cross, Silver Brush, widest of all, with 12 to make up, and three in front of Southern Fun. Into the far turn, Elmo's Journey, Birthday Cash, Nita Alibi, Perfect Trip, three wide, a neck back third. Then comes Our Doc Tanner with two and a half to make up, now making some progress as Elmo's Journey is the first to give way. Then it's the Chakota Kid, Tipsy Suspect is outside of him as Nita Alibi takes the lead at the top of the stretch. Our Doc Tanner moves to challenge. Birthday Cash is now back to third, top of the lane. Nita Alibi opens up two. Our Doc Tanner is in second. Route in the green silk. Southern Fun having serious traffic problems. Could not get through inside Elmo's journey. A 16th to go. Nita Alibi, our Doc Tanner still chasing with determination. Nita Alibi, our Doc Tanner trying to lug in, but our Doc Tanner will get there. Nita Alibi second. Birthday Cash was third, route fourth. Our Doc Tanner had a very similar trip to what he faced last time, but today he finishes the job. Al Cates, the winning trainer for Eugenia Thompson and the Hickory Stables of Ron Ball et al. Ramon Vasquez was aboard. Moving on to race number three, we have a field of eight fillies and mares. And they're off. Flashy Holiday was out very swiftly. Witch Alert moving through along the inside. Expect a prize is up close. Prada's bling on the outside. And here comes DJ Soul Sista. Quickest of them all now to take the lead. Over again is seven lengths off them. The two trailers, Star of Edmund and Ravishingly. 
Half mile to go. DJ Soul Sista leads three quarters of a length. Prada's Bling is in second. Flashy Holiday third. Witch Alert moves through nicely on the inside now and is a joint third. Then comes Expect a Prize racing in fifth. Star of Edmund is underway with seven to make up. Ravishingly asked for more. And over again is the trailer. Prada's Bling, DJ Soul Sista. Which alert, though, is loaded just behind them in the three-path. Expect a prize just outside of her. Then Star of Edmund, they're at the top of the stretch. The leader, Prada's Bling, Witch Alert, and Star of Edmund is closing stoutly along the inside. They're in the final furlong. Prada's Bling is hanging tough. On the outside, Witch Alert, Star of Edmund continues to make solid progress at the fence. Star of Edmund has good momentum inside Prada's Bling, and Star of Edmund, another sharp victory. Prada's Bling second, Flashy Holiday third, Witch Alert was fourth. Star of Edmund continues to improve. After putting it together last time, she comes right back and beats winners under Jareth Loveberry for owner-trainer Joe Petalino. We'll take our first time out, race four, after this. Want to bet? Even when you're not at the track? Now our Kansans can watch and wager online from anywhere. Introducing Oaklawn Anywhere. Visit the Oaklawn Anywhere booth to join and fund your account with cash at the window or by direct deposit. Get a $100 bonus for signing up. Go to oaklawnanywhere.com for details. Oaklawn Anywhere, now everywhere for Arkansas residents. And they're off. Every racing day. They are flying into the first turn. Every race. Blue Canoe is kicking in and he's coming fast. Somebody's going to win. And Saturday, March 28th, you could win a boat and truck at Oaklawn. Blue Canoe, he's closing the gap on Zanaro. Come celebrate spring in the infield and gaming all year long. Zanaro, Blue Canoe is fully extended. Can he keep straight? Blue Canoe got up. Oaklawn, Arkansas's favorite place to play. Now playing at Steve Lander's Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, the 2015 Chrysler 200, a next-generation mid-size sedan with best-in-class horsepower, 36 miles per gallon, nine-speed automatic transmission, and starting at just 21.7. Plus, the new Chrysler 200 was named a must-drive car of the year. Come see this year's industry blockbuster at Steve Lander's Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram above the Rave Theater on Colonel Glen. Lake Hamilton, historic downtown, Bathhouse Row. That's just part of the history made in Hot Springs years ago. But your first day on the lake, enjoying a meal fit for kings, or just being on top of the world, that's the kind of history made in Hot Springs every day. So come make yours. Visit hotsprings.org today. The fourth race is for Maiden Phillies and Mares, three and up. Scratch number five, South Wimbledon. And they're off. Angel Lovely, Red Miracle sprints up on the outside now to take the lead. Brussels Sprout is moving through now to take second. Then it's Adorable Eyes in the orange colors now claiming third. Bell of the Bluegrass is four lengths off the lead. Forever Ruler is next, followed by Silky Lady. The two trailers are time for parading and let the parade begin. Half mile left to go, it's a duel up top. Brussels Sprout on the inside, Red Miracle up alongside. Four more to Forever Ruler taking third, Angel Lovely is in fourth. Then Adorable Eyes, Silky Lady moving up between horses a bit. Bell of the Bluegrass, 10 lengths off the lead. Time for parading, starting to pick it up in the white blinkers at the rail, and the trailer is let the parade begin. A quarter of a mile to go, Forever Ruler sustaining a bit and going on. Brussels Sprout has suddenly come up empty. Red Miracle battles bravely at the rail. They're followed by Angel Lovely, and Time for Parading continues to close stoutly in the center of the track. Inside the eighth pole, Forever Ruler, Red Miracle coming back, and Time for Parading is absolutely exploding on the outside. Time for Parading mows them all down. Red Miracle second. Forever Ruler was third, and then Adorable Eyes. Time for parading gets the blinkers on today from trainer Mike Roan, and she responds with a stellar rally under Louis Q for owner-breeder Kenneth Hutchins. In this race, Brussels Sprout was claimed by Carl Broberg and Angel Lovely.
by Chris Hartman. On to the fifth, scratch number three, Go Go Lolo. And they're off. Sarby, I am Miss Brown moving up to take the lead. Barry Knoll in hand while showing good speed. Devilish reason. Sheridan's bling is now one from the outside, four wide into the turn. Battletail is just outside of her. Carnival Kid and Sarby, a very, very compact field. Onto the back stretch they go. I am Miss Brown, Barry Knoll, stride for stride. Devilish Reason, a length and a half back third. Sheridan's bling is the gray on the outside. Carnival Kid settled nicely in fifth with four to make up. Another two and a half to Battletail and Sarby. The pace, very moderate. I am Miss Brown, Barry Knoll. Stride for stride, Barry Knoll puts her nose in front. Then it's Devilish Reason in third. Sheridan's bling fourth, Carnival Kid fifth, four off the lead, two and a half to Battletail. Sarby losing touch. Three-eighths of a mile to go. I am Miss Brown and Barry Knoll continue to match strides. Devilish Reason, Sheridan's bling, four wide the entire journey. Carnival Kid hugs the rail. Two and a half more to Battletail and then Sarby. Midway on the turn, Sheridan's bling makes her move on the outside. The first to give way is Barry Knoll. She and I am Miss Brown go on with it. Carnival Kid has had a good trip. We'll swing out for the drive. They're at the top of the stretch. Carnival Kid trying to get to Sheridan's bling, and I am Miss Brown. Battletail is in fourth. Carnival Kid, hand-ridden, cruises up alongside. I am Miss Brown. Sheridan's bling is in third. It's Carnival Kid. Nicely handled the victory. I am Miss Brown was second. Sheridan. Walter De La Cruz continues to impress. Another nice ride here, this time for Kim Poole and Gene Burkholder as Carnival Kid pulls off an upset. Early pick four, close to $1,100. At Steve Landers Toyota, you can find the perfect vehicle for the perfect outing. Get going in the new Toyota RAV4. Hit the trail in the new Toyota Highlander or play hard with the new Toyota Tundra. Any tailgate, any time, always Toyota. Steve Landers Toyota, the tradition continues. Bathhouse Row, Oaklawn Racing, Lake Hamilton. That's just part of the history made in Hot Springs years ago. But your first big win, enjoying a meal underneath the stars, or just appreciating the view from hiking trails or botanical gardens. That's the kind of history made in Hot Springs every day. So come make yours. Visit hotsprings.org today. Arkansans are just born lucky. Lucky to be so close to Hot Springs, the legendary spa city, and home to Oaklawn Gaming, where you can play all your favorite games all year long, from penny games to Wheel of Fortune. Video poker to blackjack. Why drive farther? Arkansas's favorite place to play. Oaklawn Gaming. Get your $10 free play coupon at oaklawn.com. This is where crisp, smooth, refreshing Bud Light happens. But it is right here that it becomes an invitation. Making this not only 12 ounces of refreshment, but also 12 ounces of inspiration to be more up for whatever than ever. Bud Light. The perfect beer for reading and unleashing a whole world of whatever in the name of a ridiculously good time. If you're up for whatever, look for your message on Bud Light Bottles. Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever happens. Here with Terry Wallace as we look on to Saturday's program. It's all about the Archie Breads this weekend in the featured event, the Rainbow Miss for Saturday. Who gets to be your center record pick of the day? Well, among these three-year-old fillies in the featured ninth race, uh, I like uh, a week early maybe. Easter Indy, the number two. Uh, she's a combination of trainer and jockey who have done very well at this meet. Uh, trainer Bill Martin and jockey Walter De La Cruz. I think they have an excellent chance to go score the victory here. They're a week early, Easter Indy, number two in the ninth race. And don't forget, all of Terry's selections can be found in the Sentinel record. The sixth race for four-year-olds and up that have not won a race since December 1st. The claiming tag, $7,500. And they're off. Defer Heaven and Prospect Knight both out swiftly. There goes Denali Thunder now. And Denali Thunder is battling for the lead. Jay-Z's crafty boy in between horses up close. 
inside on the outside. Moazaz is widest of all. Then it's Chatfield Road along the fence, but only three lengths off the lead. Dixie Banner's behind him. Prospect Knight, who broke well, now eight off the leaders. The favorite Moroccan Brew is next. Three quarters back to Wild by Nature, and the trailer is Shredded Edge. Heading to the three-eighth pole, it's Jay-Z's Crafty Boy between horses. Defer Heaven on the outside. Denali Thunder now three quarters back third. Moazaz on the outside, fourth. Inside on the outside in striking range between horses. He's got some run, needs to find some racing room. It's another two and a half back to Dixie Banner outside of Chatfield Road. Behind them, Wild by Nature picking it up from behind. They are at the top of the stretch. Jay-Z's Crafty Boy, the leader. There's clear sailing for inside on the outside. Who's coming smartly now? Inside on the outside has dead aim on Jay-Z's Crafty Boy. And he's overhauling him at the 16th pole. Defer Heaven is in third. Dixie Banner fourth. Inside on the outside. Wins for fun. Jay-Z's Crafty Boy second. Wild by Nature third. Defer Heaven was fourth. Inside on the outside springs a huge upset for Cody Autry and his lucky dog Stables, as well as Tara Autry. Joe Rocco Jr. on a horse who looked like he was 3-5 to five coming to the quarter pole. He pays $45.20. The Superfecta more than $27,000. The Pick 3 over $1,000. The Try over $5,600. Two claims out of the sixth, Moroccan Brew to Chris Hartman in a two-way shake and Prospect Knight to Carl Broberg. On to the seventh, late scratch of Quasi Foal, the heavy favorite, Alsvid. And they're off. Alsvid, Mr. Pollard, here comes Brewing along the inside, sprinting up to take the lead and open up. Just behind them, Unbridled's Note, fourth, already seven lengths off the pacemaker, then Texas Bling, and the early trailer is Officer Alex. Brewing with the pedal to the metal, has a five-length cushion heading to the half-mile pole. Allsvid in pursuit on the outside of Mr. Pollard. Unbridled's Note is comfortable with nine to make.